What's up guys, the Hackspot here and iOS 12.1 beta 2 has been released. Now this is actually a pretty cool update so I want to cover it and it includes new emojis and so much more. So first I'm going to be showing you guys how to install iOS 12.1 beta 2 on your device so you can have all those new emojis and stuff right now and then I'm going to be showing you guys what's new. Alright so let's start with installing iOS 12.1 beta 2. Now if you're all already on a beta version of iOS 12, you can just go to update by going to settings and then over to general and then software update again this is only if you're on the beta version of iOS 12 you guys can go ahead and update through here but if you're not like me I'm an iOS 12 regular version the public release then don't worry you can still download the beta right now and get all the new emojis and features which is pretty cool so open up Safari click on the link that'll be down in the description by the way wallpaper I'll have link down below as always and once you click on that link it'll bring you right over here so this is the website that you want to go to again links down below and once over here, you guys want to hit download right here for the iOS 12.1 beta IPSW file. So it's super simple, it's super safe. Just hit allow and just be warned because it's a beta, it might have some bugs, but just tap on install in the top right. Go ahead and enter your passcode if you do have one. And now you get this long paragraph. You can go and read through it for if you want to, but basically it says this is the beta version of a pre-release software, so iOS 12. And it talks about by installing this iOS, you could give feedback to them and stuff like that. And it's only for meant to be used by developers and for the Apple developer program. And also guys, before you do this, do keep in mind that if you do want to go back to the original and like public release, the final build of iOS 12, the non-beta version, you will have to restore your device to factory settings so you have to erase all your data and content off your device. But if you do back up all your data, you can just go to put it back on if you want to. Of course you do, but just keep in mind that if you do update to the beta and want to go back to the regular iOS 12, you're going to have to start with a clean slate and put your data back on. Make sure that you do back up your device and all your data to iTunes, all your photos, messages, all that good stuff. Okay guys, so let's go tap on install in the top right, hit install, and now let's tap on restart. So simple as that, now we're just going to restart our device. And alright, so my device is back on, I'm going to go and unlock it, uh, face ID, okay cool. So now what we want to do is head over to settings. And once in settings, go to general, software update, and there you guys will see it. Boom, just like that. iOS 12.1 developer beta 2. So it's 2.76 gigabytes. Let's see if this beta actually gives us more space. So right now I have 53 gigabytes. Let me go and take a screenshot. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and update. So I'm gonna go back to software update. And so yeah, now let's go ahead and step on the pedal, hit down install. And let's go ahead and type in your passcode again. Once you do, it should start the update. So you guys will see it says update requested and estimated time rating that should start soon. All right, guys. So now it says about 60 minutes remaining. I'll be back once it's done. Again, it's a pretty big file, about 2.26 gigabytes, I remember, I think. But yeah, I'll be right back. Awesome. So guys, we are back and iOS 12.1 beta 2 did finish, as you guys could see. So it says swipe up to finish setting up iOS 12.1. So I'm going to go and unlock my device. Okay, update complete. The iPhone was successfully updated. Uh, there are just a few more steps to follow and then you are done. So continue. Uh, let's see what we got in store. So if uh, iPhone analytics, so to help Apple improve the product services, pre-release version of iOS, automatically send diagnostics and usage data. So I don't like that. Um, I think it don't share. Yeah, I don't like sharing that, but you probably should share it. So Apple could actually make their device better. I feel like that's why the devices are so crap now. It has so many glitches is because most people just hit don't share. Um, maybe I'll fix that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, now as you can see, we have a new feedback app and just to check that we are on iOS 12.1 beta 2, I'm going to go to settings, general, about, and there we go, 12.1. Now before I had 53 gigs, now I have 52.78. So it went down a little bit. It's not that significant. Actually, that's like 200 megs, but still. So we lost a little bit of space because we got some new features and let's go ahead and check them out. So first and foremost, the most exciting one, new emojis. So I'm going to go and swipe down my keyboard. Let's see what we have. So alternate keyboards, okay. All right. I think, that's, is that a new icon? Nope, it's the same. Let's go ahead and just tap on it and let's see what we got. So we should have like a new freeze emoji. Take a look at that, a freezing one. That's pretty cool. And we got some more over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll through over here so you guys can see if you could spot any new ones. But I'll be putting up all the new ones over here on the screen right now. These are all the new emojis that are in iOS 12.1 
beta 2. Now what's cool is Apple also updated some emojis. So for example, the iPhone emoji, it was the like iPhone, that looks like the iPhone 8 and below. So you guys can see right there. Now they made it the iPhone it sends, so you have the notch and basically the full display. So they did this with a bunch of other emojis too and did small improvements here and there with them. So just to make them more as aesthetically pleasing to like what's current. And some of them have been also moved around here and there. Now on top of that, group FaceTime is now available in iOS 12.1 beta 2 and it's available for every device that's on iOS 12.1 beta 2. So you don't have to have the newest and greatest iPhone to be able to have group FaceTime. Now apparently ChargeGate has also been fixed. So let's go ahead and try it out. So this device actually did have that issue. This is the iPhone XS Max and I have a video coming now on the unboxing, but yeah, you guys can't see in that video that it does have an issue. This video is recorded afterwards, but anyways, I'm going to go plug it in and looks like it has been fixed. Cool. Okay, so Apple got lucky. Good thing they were able to fix it with a softer update. And yeah, so it's not like the Note 7 where it blows up and you can't just fix it with the softer update. It's like a physical hardware thing. Now you can actually change the focus before you take a picture. So the blur in the background. Oh wait, no, we're supposed to go to portrait mode first. So portrait. And now we got that new icon. Boom, let's go ahead and tap on it. And now we can adjust the focus even before taking a picture so you guys could see that could add a blur to the background um i think i need to have my subject further away from the background but let me go and try with my hand over here so i'm putting my hand in front and there you go there's a blur okay so it looks like it's not that good right now um it has a hard time detecting the edges so let's go ahead and try to adjust it now so i'm gonna tap on that button on the top right and from here i could go ahead and adjust the blur so i can make it less blurry and I can make it more blurry before I even take the picture so I could edit it before now. But you guys can see it still needs a lot of work. Like look at the top of my finger is blurred out too. It has a hard time recognizing. So yeah, that's pretty cool though that they're adding this functionality. Now when you're actually on a lock screen and you have these little buttons right here, when you go ahead and press them, they do make a very slight sound. I have my volume all the way up. It's very, very subtle, but it is very, very satisfying. So it's on both these buttons. So yeah, every time you press it, it will make that sound. I'm gonna put my microphone right next to my iPhone to show you guys what that sounds like. Now, within the code of iOS 12, there's actually evidence that Memoji will sync between devices, so your iPhone, your iPad, and all your devices, they will, the Memojis will sync, okay? And they are also hinting that the new iPads will indeed be on their way this month. Lastly, there are hints that air power is still on the works. It's still being worked on in iOS 12. So yeah, we're still waiting on that. Now, alongside iOS 12.1, Apple is also testing watchOS 5.1, tvOS 12.1 for the Apple TVs, and macOS 10.14.1. That's a lot of numbers. All right, so guys, I do hope y'all enjoyed this in-depth review of iOS 12 and also how to install it. Catch you in the next update. Peace.